in 56, gave a name to an old Contra figure, Square Through. And it accomplished that same setup in a single action. More, more efficient. Indeed. More efficiently, yes, and another way of doing it. And you started out facing your corner. And for a long time, the excitement uh, of Square Enix, particularly after, the, after we invented Square Through, uh, we then started inventing calls. The next big one that stuck was wheel and deal. Uh, that was a very different kind of operation. Uh, and then three years later, we invented swing through. So let, let's let's take those in, in turn with with um, square through. That let you move people in the chicken plucker route very easily, and it became the standard way of calling. What happened is you could then change what you did on each side of that route. You, you could do one thing after the first square through, which left you facing your corner. And you could do a whole routine. This that ended square, up, through, square through four. Square through four hands. If you head square through four hands, they end up facing their corner in that eight chain through setup. And you then could do a routine, a, a memorized sequence of calls that left you back there, a zero movement accomplished nothing. So you could then do a right and left through, dive through, pass through, and you're now facing the other outside couple. And you could either do the same routine with them or a different one. And realizing that you could do a different one says, oh, now we've got lots of ways to add variety. Because we can do a different action, set routine, a zero figure on each side. And we can go back and forth across that route as many times as we want to. And the dancers, each time you come back to look at the corner, they're expecting the element left. And if they don't get it, then, oh, and they go on into the next route. And that got to be very exciting. It also turned out to be a very valuable tool when we started writing calls. Because we wrote thousands of calls, starting with square through, uh, then wheel and deal, yeah. and, and even before, between wheel and deal and the swing through, there were 2,000 calls created. Yeah. And the way we used those was to fit them into Chicken Plucker. We wrote a zero figure using the new call. We would teach the new call, and then we would call Chicken Plucker using that zero figure on each side. And many callers introduced four or five new calls in a single evening's dance. That they had composed. Well, that they got. And we then got, needed some way to communicate because the, the first of the new calls were introduced by the traveling callers. And they'd come to town and do it. We didn't always get the definition right. And so we invented note services. Southern California Callers Association had, I think, the first of those. And you subscribed. And they wrote the definition of each of these new calls. And then Willard Orlick in Ohio, um, not a dancer, a caller, uh, not a caller, he was a dancer, but very interested in technology and, and communication. And he started a, a national caller's report, limited to 100 callers. You, you had to be invited. And uh, that's how the first of the traveling guys spread the word about the new calls so that they used the same definition, used them in the same way. And that then became his note service, which was open to everyone. Mm -hmm. And we needed the note services because we couldn't keep up with the new calls. It, and in that 60s period, uh, it was common to get in each month's issue of new calls, 30 calls defined. And I, at my Monday night club, put out a piece of paper at, on the table and asked the people to sign in with all the new calls they had heard since the last Monday. That was a Saturday night in there, and it was normal for me to have seven or eight new calls on that list every Monday night. Oh my God. Because that's what traveling callers were using for variety, particularly during the 60s. Yeah. And by the time the 70s came around, there was an outcry from the dancers because they couldn't tell which ones were going to last. Some did. Some were good and stayed around. Swing Through was, was introduced as one of those new calls right. in late 1962. It caught on immediately. Yeah. 
So I want to I just back up a sec. So with square through, you were talking about square through four, but did that also lead the possibility of square through three, which would then in turn lead to... We did that right along at the beginning. That, that was a normal way of dealing with calls in those days. You did them in as many ways as they could be done within the agreed rules. And uh, I uh, spent a whole Sunday afternoon workshop doing just square through in all its varieties. My standard way of teaching was to introduce the call, head square through, and then if I could call it again from where they were, I did, and you could, so I did, and that left you in the lines facing out. Well, bend the line and I can now call it again. And that's how I taught square through. Uh, so that they did it from different setups. And in the next lesson, in the next two lessons, I would also do it with four men doing the square through together, no girls involved, and four women. And then later on, we do it half sashayed with the girls on the left and the boys on the right. Uh, so the dancers learn to do that call in lots and lots of different ways. And you could make a whole evening of dancing with just that call. 